Namaste, a wonderful day to all of you. This is Professor Ajit Jaiswal, Head Department of Anthropology. Now let's start discussing the another important lecture, that is 31st lecture of a lecture series on indigenous knowledge system from the earth for the future. Today I will discuss about modern knowledge system. In the previous lecture, we discussed about indigenous culture and language, a very important topic especially for the people who is preparing for several competitive examinations. Today, we will highlight the core important issues called modern knowledge system. This modern knowledge system is really a very important area of analysis for the anthropology, for the social scientists and especially people who is preparing for NET, UPSC or series of such competitive examinations. This because this is very pet topic for most of the examiners. So today we will discuss about the scientific inquiry, specialization and disciplinarity, institutionalizations, peer review and quality assurance, technological advancement, globalization and knowledge exchange, application and its impact. These are the core area that try to define the modern knowledge system. In the previous lecture, we discussed about indigenous culture and language and we clearly highlight the important areas that describe the indigenous culture and language like oral tradition, cultural practices and rituals, ecological knowledge, traditional medicine, cultural identity and flexibility, interconnection with place and interpretation and translation. So this is just a continuation of that lecture series itself that will be highly useful for you to analyze, to understand and to interpret any as such questions or any as such idea if it is asked in any of the competitive examination related to anthropology, related to social sciences or related to indigenous knowledge system concerns. So don't forget to view this video, hit that like button and subscribe for more important anthropological lecture. If you have any doubt or any questions either related to the present lecture or any other lectures that we have discussed up till now, then you can ask through the comment section. Now let's start discussing about modern knowledge system. Modern knowledge system, it referred to the structured, formalized and often institu institutionalized system of knowledge production, dissemination and application that has emerged in the context of modernity and globalization. These knowledge systems are characterized by their emphasis on empirical observation, rational inquiry, scientific method and technological innovation. So observation, inquiry, method and innovation, four important methods of analysis is very much required if you want to understand this thing. So let's try to discuss some key feature of a modern knowledge system. First important one is scientific inquiry. Modern knowledge systems are grounded in scientific inquiry. We seek to understand the natural world through systematic observation, through experimentation, through analysis. So scientific knowledge is based on empirical evidence, logical reasoning and the testing of hypothesis leading to the development of theories, development of laws, development of principles that explain natural phenomena. Next important area is specialization and disciplinary. Modern knowledge systems are organized into specialized discipline or field of study, each focusing on specific domain of knowledge. Disciplines such as physics, chemistry, biology, sociology, psychology, economics, anthropology and engineering have emerged to study different aspects of physical, biological, social, behavioral sciences. So interdisciplinary approach also exists to address complex, multifaceted problem and transcend disciplinary boundaries. Similarly, another important area is institution institutionalization. Modern knowledge systems are institutionalized within, within universities, within research institutions, within the government agencies and other formal organizations dedicated to knowledge production, dedicated to education and innovation. So this institution provide the infrastructure, provide the funding, expertise and resource necessary for conducting research, conducting training, especially to the scholar and disseminating knowledge through academic publications conferences and educational programs. Another important area is peer review and quality assurance. 
modern knowledge systems rely on peer review processes to evaluate the quality validity and reliability of scientific research peer reviewed journals academic conferences and grant funding agencies use peer review to assess the rigor significance and originality of research contribution before publications are funding approval quality assured mechanisms ensure that scientific knowledge meets established standard of accuracy transparency and ethical conduct next important area is technological advancement modern knowledge systems are closely interweaved with technological advancement that facilitate data collections data analysis communication and innovation so technology such as computer internet laboratory equipment imaging techno technique and data analysis tools this all this enables researchers to generate store analyze and share vast amount of data or information accelerating the pace of our pace of scientific discovery and technological innovation next very important area is globalization and knowledge exchange remember we have to understand this area because this is a matter of discussion in almost all the platform in almost all the discipline in almost all the places where people used to discuss what is the role of globalization especially in relation to the knowledge exchange complete world is looking for brain drain they are looking for collecting the brain people in their country in their institution in their organization where concept of globalization play a very important role we have to understand it accordingly so modern knowledge systems are increasingly globalized with knowledge with knowledge production with knowledge dissemination and collaboration transcending national boundaries that what is called as brain drain international network of scholar research collaborations and knowledge exchange platform facilitate the sharing of ideas expertise and research our resources across diverse cultural linguistic and geographical context contributing to the advancement of knowledge on a global scale and remember even though we have discussed so many area we have to think about another important dimension called application and impact the finding of each and every product depend on its applicability and its impact so modern knowledge system aims to generate knowledge that has a practical application and societal impact scientific discoveries and technological innovation contribute to economic development public health environment sustainability social progress cultural enrichment all this addressing the important pressing challenges and improving the quality of life for individual and community network or community world world that is the beauty of the finding of any us research if it has no meaning if it is not useful for the society or the individual or to the community then such finding may not be that much fruitful that much effective as it is supposed to be so overall we may say that modern knowledge system represent a dynamic and multifaceted landscape of inquiry discovery and innovation that shape our understanding of the world and inform decision making in diverse domain of human endeavor they complement and interact with other knowledge systems including indigenous knowledge system to address the complex challenges and foster sustainable development in an interconnected world so remember if you are discussing about modern modern knowledge system we have to highlight all this key point because that will be helpful to analyze to effectively frame your answer to frame your visions related to the modern knowledge system especially in the context of indigenous knowledge system remember this is very important for all of you and if you have any doubt any queries related to the last lecture this lecture or any of the lecture of the lecture series related to indian indian indigenous knowledge system from the earth for the future then feel free to ask through the comment section another important point a new video will come daily around 1 pm so keep your notification bell on and keep in touch with us thank you thank you so much namaste